Hello everyone, welcome to Baby Basics, Game Development Essential in Baby. Before we start learning Baby, I would like to give you some background about myself and why I am teaching this course. As a currently working Embedded Security Engineer at Bosch Global Software Technologies, I have prior experience with Rust from my time working as an Embedded Security Engineer. And for the past, in the past few months, I have been working with Baby in my spare time. And the goal of this series is to give you rapid start in Bevy while building practical game development skills. This series is intended for all programmers, but you will get the most out of it if you have tackled the first half of the Rust programming language. There is no need for prior game development experience and none is assumed. In terms of code references, uh, everything that we code together will have a link in the description so that you can go browse the github repository for that at our own leisure time with that said i really hope you enjoy this series uh, please subscribe to the channel for future videos to come in today's video we are going to cover the following first what baby is i'll give you an introduction to baby explaining what makes it unique and why it is great choice for game development in rust next we will talk about the ecs architectural pattern and why it's beneficial for game design. Then we will dive into the internals of Baby ECS and we will talk about storage, queries and commands. And uh, we will see how Baby's abstract ties all together, things together. And we will wrap up with the code example. And what is Baby is? Uh, so what exactly is Baby? Uh, described by its uh, developer. Baby is a refreshingly simple uh, data driven game engine built in Rust. Provides un unparalleled safety and performance. Uh, while Rust has a reputation for a steep learning curve, uh, Baby actually makes the process smoother. It reduces the amount of friction you encounter with the borrow checker, freeing you up to uh, concentrate on coding. Uh, furthermore, dispute its initial complexity, uh, Rust empowers you to sidestep entire categories of bug, bugs and issues resulting in smoother more reliable development experience baby baby is built on strong ecs foundation uh, baby utilizes the entity component system architecture or ecc for short a design pattern aimed to efficiently representing game and game world objects this one of the uh, this one way where baby stands out while there are other game engines such as you uh, you uh, unity and your unreal that have built ecs frameworks on top of their existing architectures baby has been designed with ecs as its functional architecture from the baby beginning baby is very quickly rising in popularity in just three years, Baby has assumed uh, 30.9k plus uh, GitHub stars, uh, showcasing rapid adoption and interest. Additionally, it has over 8 lakh plus downloads and on crates.io uh, and a vibrant Discord community of 14,000 users plus users. Baby is continuously uh, evolving, adding new features and providing, uh, proving that it is on path to becoming a major player in the gaming industry. And a quick raising in the popularity. Understanding ECS components like entity component system. In game development, the entity component system architecture plays a crucial role. But what exactly is ECS and why is it so important? Why ECS? A data oriented functionality is driven by data. Clean architecture promotes loose coupling of functionality and prevents deeply nested inheritance. High performance ECS massively parallel and cache friendly. ECS definition Entity collection of components with unique ID, example entity 1, name, alias, position, and uh, like, and component normal Rust data type scoped to a single functionality. And example position, velocity, and health. System executes logic on entities, components, and resources. Resource shared global piece of data. What makes an app? Uh, what makes an app? The simplest baby app look like this. And so what sort of data does our app really store? Looking at the docs linked, we find three fields, world, schedule, and runner. The world 
field stores all of our games data the schedule holds the system and that operates on this data and other an order to in which they do so and the runner interprets the schedule to control board execution strategy you you can read more about this exploring the exploring the references documentation uh, link just below generally you will be operating at a more uh, granular level than this basic primitives controlling data in terms of specific resources or components and adding system to an existing schedule to do so customize to do so customize your own app by chaining its methods with the builder pattern the most basic tools are initializing resource in the world store to globally available data that we we only need a single copy of adding system to our schedule which can read and modify resources and our entities components according to our game logic importing other blocks of app modifying code usings like plugins we will cover these a bit more in the next pages uh, like next topics speaking of which let's uh, which let's finally add some logic to our app using bevy ecs uh, let's dive into some practical bevy code we need to do some setup and we need to install rust a development environment i have followed this quick baby quick start guide and i have done the setup and please go through this guide to the, to install the rust environment setup and i have followed the creating new baby projects they have mentioned the commands also just follow the commands if you are new to this baby game and or rust just follow these commands and you can create new baby game project and follow uh, and add this main.rs and in the cargo.ml files dependencies and uh, if we jump into the ecs topic and here it is a ecs component system and entities uh, why it is important and why we are uh, focusing on ecs basics uh, in this video and if you want to know about more ecs you can go through these documents and uh, you will get to know about more about ecs and i just followed the steps and uh, code whatever mentioned in the baby document and i have written here and if i run this code you cargo run and you can see it's printed it's just a how to use these components uh, concludes our first session i hope you stay tuned because i have lot more topics i want to cover in this series i am excited to share what i have learned using baby in this video i have not covered much in the, in the upcoming series i will delve into more details topics will range from organizing your code efficiently using bundles and plugins to understanding and managing global state with resources we will also learn about system ordering run condition and events additionally we will set up our code examples explore baby 3d capabilities and build some really neat examples that incorporate the topics we have learned in this video and future videos to come thank you 